hi and welcome to my channel so today we're going to review this soup with the beer it's like a brown beer noodle ripe and dried salt ramen if you want to be strong at this beer eat the noodle itself okay it's just my suggestion and here is suggestion of you serving so egg bacon and uh, rest of the stuff okay so the interesting thing about this beer they are very common in some countries like uh, Slovakia you can meet them in the mountains so if you meet them don't run away because the speed of the running is up to 40 km per hour you should pretend to be uh, dead you know if you're dead they not eating the scrap you know not eating dead animals or dead humans usually yeah anyway anyway uh, we're talking about noodles in here so they making noodles since uh, 1982 so it's uh, 24 years now the preparation is uh, is quite easy it takes some hassle as you have to boil the water put the stuff into the water then you put the flavorings then you can serve it takes couple minutes but you have to calculate another couple minutes to to boil the water before you add it and, uh, and then you have to calculate more and more time to clean the okay so it takes a bit hassle let's see what inside I will just put in here for a while as uh, as the water I put water for boil so it should be ready soon so inside we got a nicely packed noodle a very good egg noodle and we get uh, flavoring pack it's similar to the uh, to the panda noodle I reviewed it before it's uh, yeah it has some water inside there's a reference number reference number in here it was added during the boiling process okay so I will return with uh, I will return with new when it's done okay see you later okay so here we go again we have the noodles ready ready to go ready to consume it might look for the especially for the polish audience and uh, if some european audience it might look completely like uh, chicken soup but it's not yeah okay still steamy Let's check the pasta. I'll make it look first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is something good. It's salty, but not too salty. It has deep flavor inside. It just it's not as good as panda I guess. Maybe. But it is delicious. Mm. Let's, check, let's check the pasta. Yeah, egg pasta. Very good. Mm. Actually, it's very similar to very similar to Polish pasta. So if you can't get if you can't get this stuff, you know. Or if you like the taste of the pasta from its noodle, you can go to Polish grocery. There are a lot of uh, Polish groceries in states as well as in Europe, and you can get that that one. So I guess uh, Russian noodles and uh, all Eastern European noodles, the classic egg noodles, they will be the same or similar because. Uh, it's similar culture and uh, similar tradition, similar ingredients, so it's very common in Poland. As well as the neighbor food countries. Yeah, but it's Japanese. 
it's great, not too cheap, honestly you can get sometimes even 3 indomie in the price of it, but it's really worth it. I can't say if it's better than indomie or worse, it's, it's totally different, you know, it's totally different, it's like a different category. So, it's a great stuff. I hugely recommend traveling to Japan and trying these noodles before you go there. Of course, because once you're there, there are much better food in there. At the end of this video, I will put some uh, some pics from Japan, maybe some uh, some food as well. The food is great. Sometimes it's moving on your plate. It's greatly prepared, greatly done, and. Uh, quality of service in Japan is like a dream if you compare to Europe you won't find it in France, in Germany, in, in Ireland no if you want to teach your employees how to behave when they serve the customer the products send them to Japan you know they have great culture, great food, and great service. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Yes, pizza.